Really looking forward to the Big Suffolk Prayer Walk coming up on the 19th to the 21st of May this year. So let me tell you a little bit in advance about prayer walking. I've been reading Paul's letter to the church in Philippi recently and one of the things he commends us to do is to put on the mind of Christ, the mind of Jesus. And if we ask what that involves, then presumably it involves having in our mind the contents of what Jesus had in his mind. And some of the things that Jesus had in his mind were that the Father is here, uh, the Father is good, and the Father is able. And therefore, in prayer, we're able to avail ourselves of the one who is here and present and good, and who wants his power to be used in ways that are for the good and the flourishing of our world. Prayer, immediately then, becomes a really key instrument here. And with Thy Kingdom Come, soon to be with us, an initiative which is so focused on prayer, is a great opportunity to put on the mind of Christ and to pray in and with Christ to the Father. And I want to commend to you one particular way of praying during Thy Kingdom Come, which is prayer walking. If you're not aware of this, it's basically walking around your locality, asking God's blessing and favour upon the places you and the people that you come across whether that's schools or shops or businesses or residences, whatever. And I commend you to do this with others because the power of praying in unity together and in fellowship is wondrous. And indeed, why not tie it into a bit of wider fellowship, such as having a picnic at the end of a prayer walk together so you can truly savour the moment. Thy Kingdom Come, great initiative that's coming up. So think about prayer walking as part of what you might be doing during that period.